All right, guys, you see the car. This is a 1987 Chevrolet Caprice Classic Brome LS. And I'll go through the quirks and features with this one. So this is a very good example. Um, you see how clean this is. You can't find them clean like this anymore. A lot of these cars are no longer OG. A lot of them are 85s, 86s compared, uh, converted to 87s. 88s, 89s, and 90s with these front Euro clips. This one you can tell is pretty straight, pretty clean. Everything's there. That's a nice example. Bumper, bumper strip, or I should say impact bumper strip is all there. You got the bumper guards there, the two in the front. OEM, signal lights, everything's original. You got the nice white walls. Those grow on you if you don't like white walls. Those are pretty big. In fact, let me measure those white walls before we get into the whole thing. Excuse the mess. Nope. There we go. It's a little overkill here. Let's see. That's about an inch and a half, I'd say. An inch and a half. Those are pretty fucking huge. Okay. Let's get back to it. Please don't mind the mess. Still working on everything to try to get it all cleaned up. I'll give a shop update in a little bit for those who like engines, like old school Chevys. I'll give you a little update. Those who like Michigan, you know, I'll give you an update. All right, so back at it. 1987 Chevy Caprice Classic. Brome LS. Black with red interior. Clean as they come. For sale. We finance worldwide. We ship worldwide. If you're interested in it, leave a comment below. We'll get you something. We could try to get to this guy. You can see the dash is not cracked. All intact. Very hard to come by. Elderly driven because you can see Jesus is there. Jesus is riding with them. Has the ERS sound system. So that's one of the things I always love about these cars. That was the ERS. This is something that people don't really talk about. But this is the extended range sound system. That meant it had EQs. And it had the extended power base. You can see the loud DNR, CO2. That was like the, the Primo stereo system. So this kind of comes with all wood grain. Yeah, like I said, it's elderly driven. Spot check. Looks like the automotive service that they took it there, the auto shop. Original GM mats with the GM logo. GM mat. Has about 103,000 miles on the clock. All the gauges work. Let's see if you can see it. Nope. Nope, you can't see it. Insert, I should say a steering wheel insert, almost there, complete. Usually you find these all broken. And this one's silver, but you can see the transition from silver to dark gray. So usually they break apart. They don't have all the silver in it. And then this one has some wear marks on it. You could kind of see ridges up here, which is good. But, you know, obviously it has some wear and tear. You can see right here where it's smoothed out right here. This is smooth. Right here you can see it's smooth. A little bit of smoothness right there. But overall, great, great quality, you know? All the interior switches work. So you get that over there. Yep. Windows all work. The headliner is in great shape. Let me see if I can zoom out so I can kind of give you that. This is a great car. This can be yours for the right price. It is for sale. I am open to trades uh, with cash. I don't want your sloppy jalopy project car. But if you got something that's nice, let me know. You can tell, very solid. Underneath, very solid. Go over here. I love how these car doors slam.
Just sounds like a tank. Listen to that. Ah, that's solid. You'd know if that car, if that door was rusted out, it would hear, it would ring hollow. Damn, that sounds like a tank. Look at that. It sounds like a vault. Yeah, that's, that's a sign of a good door. You can see right here, no rust. Usually you see rust over here in this area. Nothing. Doors look good. Got a little oxidation on top. This guy's still good, but no sun fading on this. That's the problem with a lot of these cars is, you know, back in high school, I had one of these. You never thought that this would actually sun fade, but a lot of these actually sun fade up here. Sun hits it and it just starts turning into like a bluish gray. This is a good car. Somebody's been taking care of it. You go right here, beautiful. Not farted up, original mats in the back. Everything's clean, no oxidation on the seat belts. Still has all its pieces of trim. This is one really good example. You know, they're harder and harder to come by like this. I was talking about it earlier. Rain usually connect, or color, ooh, sorry, collects on this track, comes in here, gets all right here. And this is all bubbled up right here. And then you see water collecting down here and it bubbles up down here. You wouldn't be able to tell but the only giveaway is the bubbling. You'll start seeing it. You wouldn't know it's rusting underneath if you don't open it up. You can see weather strip is all there. Like I said, we finance worldwide. We ship worldwide. And if you want it, this can be yours. Really love the white walls, inch and a half. Some people don't like them. I feel like they grow on you. It's really clean. You can tell the visor, like the visor, uh, the vinyl top is still in great condition. It hasn't been messed with, hasn't been cut. There's no rips or tears, no bubbling underneath. All your badges are there. Your beautiful LS badge right there. You can hear that? Let's hear it again. Golly, these doors are so solid, but yeah. Interior is in perfect, perfect condition. Beautiful pillow seats. That's it. There you go. The glare is kind of hidden. It. Beautiful pillow seats. No sun fade up here. Great condition. Usually you get a lot of hand wear up here. People start grabbing it from the back. You understand these are family cars, you know? A lot of families have these. So to not see any kick marks, scrape marks, or anything like that, it's awesome. This bag here. Great condition. Uh, we are missing that, but that's okay. You know, you can find those online. Uh, solid, solid. Wheel wells are good. Everything looks really good on this car. I think it's a beautiful car. If you're very, if you're interested and you want to cash me out, let me know in the D or in the messages. I could leave my Instagram. I could DM you on Insta. I follow my comments on my channel a lot, so if you're interested in this car, feel free to message. Like I said, 100,000, well, 103,000 miles. Let's cover that so you can kind of see. It was very clean, original, and could be yours for the right price. Headliner's still intact. Everything's still there. Dash has no cracks. This is one of the telltale signs that it's been sitting in the sun. This, you could tell, was garage kept. Somebody took care of this guy. Somebody really cared about this one. You also see a lot of marks on these right by the steering column right here. You usually see a lot of, like, key wear marks right there that dangle. But this one has it all. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, so we got a little lock, key accessory, and the manual. Still got that. Let's see the, oh, I don't have the keys in it. Okay, but original GM mats, everything's there, very plush, no rust or oxidation, anything. Everything's still there. It's hard, harder, harder to come by. If you're interested in this guy, let me know. We'll do another video. Do another video on just how she runs. She's solid, she's a runner. This car is great. Honestly, I have no issues driving with it. 
radio works, AC works, heat works. It's as if you're driving a brand new old car. I think this is harder and harder to find. And like I said, this could be yours if you're interested and for the right price. Like I said, comment down below, message me, let me know. Hey, you know, let me make you an offer. Or, hey, I got a trade and I'd like to offer you some cash on top. If you guys have a 86 or 87 Landau, let me know. I'm very interested in those too. Um, but in good condition, not uh, chopped up, not somebody's project. Something's good, something decent. But yeah, if anything, I'll come back and do another video and we'll go from there. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.